of the Netherlands up against Kim and Jong from Korea. Well, when we look at the mixed doubles draw, the top half of the draw uh, has decided on the semi-finals. Only two seeds, though, at quarter-final stage, one in each half of the draw. trying to become the first pair from the Netherlands into a semi-final for 23 years in the mixed doubles discipline. Uh, their opponents, Kim Won Ho and Yong Na Ung, well, they were in the final of the German Open last year. Last year, last week, what am I talking about? It's all too exciting for me. It's all got too much. Well, this will be a first meeting between these two pairs. Not altogether surprising because Kim Won Ho and Yong Na Ung are a recent partnership. Jung, black or red? Black for you. This is red. Jung, receive. Oh, well, that's extraordinary. They have chosen to receive, having won the toss of the coin, which means that Tarbalin and Peak have been able to choose ends. Robin Tarbalin will turn 29 next month, and he and his partner are down two places in the world, ranking to 13 this week, but it's been one week from the 31st of January this year at their career high of 10. Selena Peak is 31 years of age from Blaricum in North Holland. That equates to about five foot five. And for her, it's a second quarter final at the All England Championships. But uh, they've had a good uh, campaign so far this year, both of their matches in two straight games. Uh, the first round against Hall and McPherson from Scotland, and then Sumanti and Yuli Marbella, of, who had been promoted from the reserve list. Kim Won Ho is 23 years of age and the son of a three-time All England champion, Gil Young R. They went up to a career high after being in the final of the German last week to number 12. And this, quite extraordinarily, is their first All England as a pair. And here they are in the quarter-final stage. 22 years of age, Jong Na Ung from Seoul, the Korean capital. 167 equates to just under five foot six. So this is their fifth tournament of the year, uh, but they had a tough old first round against the two left-handers from England, Mayers and Moore. In fact, they were 5-14 down in that deciding game before winning it 21-19. Uh, beat the number two seeds, the two-time defending champions play. and three-time winners, Watanabe and Higashino when sadly a horrible injury to Watanabe and he was forced to retire in the second game. So our court officials for this one, Edouard Dito from France and Gavin Smith, the service judge from England. Well, the last pair from the Netherlands in a semi-final, which of course is what Tarbelin and Pika are trying to achieve, was in 2000, 23 years ago, when Chris Brühl and Erika van der Hovel reached the semi-final before losing to the number two seeds, Liu Hong and Ge Fei, who then lost in the final. So final preparations. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Robin Tabling 
and Selena Peak, Netherlands. And on my left, Kim Won Ho and Jung Na Hung, Korea. Selena Peak to serve to Jung Na Hung. Love all. Play. Well, oh, this the furthest that the pair from the Netherlands have got in a tournament so far this year. And this is their fourth Service tournament over. in 2023. One love. They had a fabulous French Open last year, Tarbellin and Peak, reaching the final, where they then lost to the reigning world champions, Chen Shi Wei and Huang Yaxiong, who are incidentally love. number one seeds here and already in the semi final. Uh, they were 2016 up in the deciding game against the world champions and somehow didn't win it. Three, love. Well, I think the Dutch pair might be a little bit nervous at the moment. That would be understandable, wouldn't it, Steen? Yeah, it would be. This would be... Um, some, a semi-final at the All England would be something to make up for that last um, French Open final. is actually the second quarter-final at the All England for this Dutch pairing. Three years ago, they were quarter-finalists and lost to another Korean pair, Soo Seung Jae and Che Yu Jung, the two left-handers, who we will be watching in our last match this evening. It was a very good defensive shot from Kim Won Ho. But I think Tarbellin should have moved out for that. What do you think, Steve? Yeah, I think so too, but it depends a little bit at what kind of agreement they have on Selena Peak being on the back court, whether they change the first time or, or later. Certainly not the start that Tarbellin and Peak were hoping for. No. Of most of the uh, match so far. 
peak in uh, tabling. It's a little bit of um, a test this um, after beating Hall and um, McPherson in the first match. Then yeah, have promoted from reserve lists. So it's, it's a good indication of Nine, where does peak and tabling one. stand at the moment. This match here. Too loose that block from Tarbellin. Ten, one. A little bit surprising placement from uh, Jong Aoun. Worked perfectly. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Use of the mid court area from Jong Na Un. They still couldn't convert. Is a very, so very over. healthy lead for the Koreans, Kim Won Ho and Jong Na Ung. A nine point advantage here at the mid game interval of the opening game. Only six minutes played. Court one, 20 seconds. Court one, 20 seconds. Yeah, for the year, I assume it's comes. You need to explain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. to the advantage. Oh, oh, that was a much more positive return of serve from Tarbelin. Attack tabling and uh, peak. Service over thirteen four. Uh, looks 
as if he's upped his pace of movement as yes. well as pace of shot. Tarbalin. Too far back there, the, uh, covering the back court. Look at this. by Tarbelin because Kim Won Ho was encroaching forward on the net. She's so good at, but hasn't done enough of yes. so far in the match. Really taking control of the front of the net, getting there first. Afraid to let Kim Won Ho stay on the front court. It might be um, a normal. Bonus from the way in. Service over. The call was from Selena Peak to leave it. Most of them know that John Wong, she's got a really solid defense when she plays women's doubles with Kim Hai Jong. So if Selena Peek is at the back, well, it's just like playing normal women's doubles for her. Yeah. Oh, oh it went under feet. the net. Yeah. Seven, eight, nine. After the interval, and, uh, most likely the first game is gone here, but it's about getting in some confidence. Oh. So now his partner Ten. a little bit now. To towards her side, and she could really. Get back in time. Oh, 
service over. 19, 12. Anticipated from Robin Tarbellin. That's good. Oh, so on earth didn't they start out like this? Nerves. Yeah, I think so too. That's what all England does to you. Absolutely. So when it looks like everything is lost, then you can sort of let go. Tarbellin, and that gives 20, game point opportunities to the Korean pair. Good return. Service over. 14, 20. Play two from Selena P. John Dunman challenges called in. Well, challenge from the Koreans. <laughs> no, I thought it went long, but um, let's see what Papa says. No, I thought that was in. Oh, no, it was out. That's a great challenge. Go so the only game. Out. Game. 21-14, the margin for First Kim Wan Ho and Jong Na Ho. 21-14. 21-14 in 17 minutes. So um, what, what are the Koreans going to do? Because I mean, from the interval to the end of the first game, the Dutch pair played better. So they've got to, I think they're going to challenge more to get on the attack. Okay. Hey. 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 
initiative on the front court. That was ambitious. Three, one. points wow. that the Dutch player of one come from service errors from their opponents. smash Robin Tarbellin but I do wonder Steen he seems to be trying to hit everything hard at the moment yeah, yeah. should he be varying it a bit more as long as he's uh, successful and I think he has been since the interval I think the, the uh, big um, hurdle now is to get the initiative and it seems like John Nolan is uh, a little bit more prone to uh, lift from the front court so from a Dutch perspective um, they've got to hope that uh, Selena Peek can beat John at the net game yeah. problem is what when they are playing the opposite um, formation yeah. with the him at the net excellent quite yeah. good defense yeah. I said she had a good defense and, when, when, when the Dutch pair, when they have Selena at the back, they simply got to change it around because they're much, much stronger in the uh, regular mixed doubles formation. Selena Peak. Well, 
brings the run and five straight points to an end. Oh my goodness, the Dutch pair needed that. Needed to break the run. It's a four-point advantage for Kim and Jong. They have already won the first. They are looking comfortable at the moment. Twenty seconds. Twenty seconds. Coach. On court. Well, with the Dutch pairing of Tarbelin and Peak, want to end this 23-year drought for a mixed doubles semi-finalists in the all England Championships. I think they've got to change their tactics. What do you think, Steen? Yeah, I agree, uh, but they've got to be much more disciplined in, in their uh, tactic. They've got to go for the attack. That's the corner there. In, in the backhand side of the Koreans, I think that's the key to it. I would, that's my play. If I were the Dutch player, I would try to play a lot of the rallies, almost all of them, in that um, Korean backhand side there. That would be my goal. And if uh, Selena is at the back court for the Dutch pair, the goal should be to get to the net. And it's, it's an issue if the Dutch pair are defending because Selena Peake's defence is nowhere near, no. I don't think, as good as Jong's no. defence. The Koreans' fundamentals is, is way more solid than, than the Dutch pair. And by fundamentals, I mean all the things that... Um, um, looks easy but takes a long time to practice and, and become steady and, um, and um, solid in it. The defense, the blocks, the net game. Well, 
16. Seem to be racing eight. away with this now, Kim and Jong. Yeah. Now I like that. I like the change of pace. Oh! Yeah. So Earlier on, he was only hitting hard from the back of the court. It was only smashes. 16. Good follow up as well by Robin Tarbelling. The, the way this second game has sort of um, uh, developed, that also makes me think that the 14 points in the first game was a lot due to the, um, <clears throat> the, the nine point lead that the Koreans had. They got a little bit um, secure, they were going to win the, that first game. And, uh, they just seem. A level above um, their opponents, no, as of now. what they've got to focus on. Dutch pair. Babington now, Tarbellin and Pete, but I fear for them that they've left it a little too late. Yeah, and again, I, I have the feeling, like in the first game, that if needed, the Koreans, they can uh, they can kick it up a gear, tighten the grip. Just long. 
service over 1914. Two points away from a first ever semi final at a Super 1000 event. Service over. 1519. Yeah. Service over. Service, service error from Selena Peak. And that gives match point opportunities to the Koreans, Kim and Jiong. Wow. What a smash from Kim Won Ho to finish this quarter final match. Just 36 minutes in duration, 21-14, 21-15. And they look and have been looking every tournament more and more impressive. Kim Won Ho and Jong Na Kim Won Ho and Jong Na 21-14, 21-15. Umpire just confirming that scoreline. Finalists last week, at least a semi final this week for Kim and Jong. That was perfect placement as well as incredible power. Aiming towards the right hip of the player defending. He was in two finals last week, Kim won home. And whilst he lost first round in the men's doubles this week, his mixed doubles is going extremely well. Confirmation, Kim and Jong through to the semi-final beating Tarbelin and Peak. 21-14, 21-15 in 36 minutes.
Welcome back to Birmingham and you can uh, scan the QR code on your screen at the moment and download Badminton for you. You can then follow all the action from the All England, all the latest stories, see everything in real time. So, two more matches.